All right, update time for my YouTube channel for my fish. As you can tell, I've tripped my tank has changed a bit. I've added two. I've added a little two to my betas. I still I get I put my uh, I put Mesa's beta leaf into it into into his side of the tank. But he seems to like this tube a lot more. I have a tube for the white knight, as you can tell right here. As you can tell, I I even gave this uh a, my 20 gallon tank a decent little background specific because this is Mesa, and this is the white knight. And of course, if you watch Mesa Cross Delta, you will understand uh, who's who's on each side. And of course, as you can tell, Mesa just went just started running out of his uh, tube for some weird reason. I think he just wanted to show off for the camera. He's doing just fine, as you can tell. <clears throat> of course, here's my little girl. She even has her own little tube. She tends to hang or hang out, hang out around it for some weird reason, and not actually go inside it. I've seen her go in there at least a few times, but for the most part, she just hangs around it. And of course, just, and of course, I have these little pieces of string that are holding the tubes in together. They're bit, they're just more. These strings are just being held in by by the tops. The I for friction fit, so I can easily move this tube if need be. But for right now, this tube will do just fine where it is. But as you can tell, with it, well, you can tell with these two tubes right here, I actually just taped the tubes directly to the side because I know for because I know for a fact where I have them, they work perfectly. And of course, same thing with this side here too. Granted, the white knight really doesn't go into his go into his tube. I've seen him go into it a few times, but mostly messes in her. Mostly messes in her side is in his side. And of course, here you can actually see the back a little bit better. And you can actually see the. And you can actually now see how color, how colorful uh, Mesa really is. And of course, here's the white knight. And if he actually swims over towards this side of the light, where the light's actually shining, you'll actually see there it is. You can actually see him glowing, which is actually pretty cool. As you can tell, his fins are actually uh, are actually uh, blonde, like like uh, the real like the White Knight is in the anime. So there's that. Last update: new beta. This beta right here, his name is Hightech. As you can tell, he's blue, and he has very and he has white trims around his fins. He's a butterfly beta. Now, since you really can't see him due to the way the lighting in that in that tank is, I have, I'm turning on my light. As you can tell, he's now in his little tube. He's a very beautiful butterfly beta. He likes his tube a lot. He's been swimming around quite a bit, actually. And of course, I had to keep with the theming, so I did this for his uh, spot, for his uh, little divider. I just printed out a simple little print picture like this, and I just attached it to the back with a, attached it to the side. So they so he can never see inside this tank. And I just taped it on directly onto that. So there's that. And of course now you can actually see his real colors. He's a, he, he is a very beautiful beta. So before I end this video, you, it, dang it, sorry, I cannot talk right now. Now before I end this video, if you remember, I had a weird uh, setup right here to where I had to where the uh, air pump was covered up by a bunch of foam and whatnot, trying to block out all the noise. I finally decided, okay, why don't I just drill a hole inside the uh, inside this drawer and then inside the back plate of this uh, hole, whatever this thing is, and then I just plopped it directly inside here. So now I can actually. So maybe you might be able to hear the noise, but this thing makes quite a bit of noise. But um, there's the hole I drilled it through, and of course I even have a uh, air control valve so I can control how much air goes through the actual filter system right here, so I can actually convert it into an actual true low flow setup. And of course, all I need to do to quiet, to quiet this thing down is just close the door. And the only humming noise you hear now is the humming coming from the uh, filter on top of my 20 gallon tank. That and or if you get close enough, the filter on my uh, on my little two and a half gallon tank right here. Because for some reason or this filter here likes to make a lot more noise now. But all in all, I'm very happy with how I have my uh, new setup on my with my fish, and I'm, and of course I am monitoring my fish, making sure they're doing just fine. I do, I want to make sure these guys stay nice and healthy. I do plan on actually adding like a little small bedrock system to this, uh, like actual like little bedrocks, like like this tank here, and 
the tank there. And I might even add a small little uh, real plant. I'm not going to add anything to this tank yet because this thing's still establishing, establishing itself. And as you can tell, the water's a little cloudy, a little murky, so I'll be doing a water change within the next few days. But for, more, but for the most part, even though this video's gone longer than I want, all my betas seem to be happy and doing just fine. Also, if you haven't noticed, Mesa here, I mean not Mesa, Hyatt here is actually making bubble nests. So that's a good thing. I haven't really noticed these two or any of my other ones making bubble nests yet, so. But they seem to be in perfect health for the most part.